So uh, first of all, thanks both of you because let me know, uh, let me became a killer. So I killed the the father of Stefan Yay! twice. It's That's your fault, not ours. <laughs> no, it seems the the right choice. I don't know, and I I feel so guilty and so bad, and I have to start again just to have another final, you know. <laughs> okay, just to check he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I killed twice actually. Right. Oh, well but. Uh, the perception is there is no right choice, and you, it's not you to make the decision. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if it's right or it's just. Uh... I would say. I mean, there's lots of. I, th I think the optimum way of experiencing mm -hmm. Bandersnatch is to have more than one ending and to sort of go through it a couple of times and and see how that feels. There's definitely there's there's. A, there's a couple of endings that are probably slightly more definitive than the other ones. So, and there's one ending where no one get you don't murder anyone. There's one ending where you can not murder anyone, and it's probably the most bittersweet. No way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh no. Yes. I, I, is that one with the Netflix? You know when? Uh, oh no, I'm not talking Israelis. about. Oh, no, you're right. You don't you know? murder anyone in that path as well. No, but there's another one. There's there's one. Did you get the one with the train? No. Oh, there you go. Mm. There, go back and have a, have a little... <laughs> Another <pop> one. Or <laughs> <laughs> the benefit. Or the benefit of doing a, something like this, in that there are endings that have very different tonal feels to mm -hmm. them. And are, you know, some are very emotional, quite poignant, mm -hmm. um, quite heart-wrenching, I would go as far as to say. And some are much more darkly comic, like mm -hmm. the Netflix ending. So... It, you're, so what we were trying to do in this film is essentially what we try and do across a whole Black Mirror season. Mm -hmm. So take lots of different tones or genres and to make them feel, to, as if, make them all feel as if they fit in one film and through one character's experience. Mm. You know, so it's so it's very hard. No, it's so funny. No, it's good. It's good <laughs> to kill people just like. <laughs> but if you, if you if you watch all of it, you should have a very strong no, sense I know, of I know, Stefan's I know. world. I know, I know. And I know. you have a stronger uh, identification with mm -hmm. him as a character. Mm -hmm. So it all, so it's quite, it, uh, creatively, that's quite a challenging but exciting mm -hmm. thing to do. To It's almost like having five different films, mm -hmm. five different directions Stefan's world could have taken. Um, it's right to say maybe Stefan is the uh, Alice in Wonderland and Will is the White Rabbit because <laughs> Bandersnatch is actually uh, a character of Lewis Carroll novel. It, yes, although I, I wasn't thinking about that no? When, no, when writing it. No, that's just a happy coincidence. No, I named it Bandersnatch after a real computer game mm -hmm. that never appeared. Oh. In the 80s, there was a game called Bandersnatch okay. that some people were working on that never arrived. And when I was a... A kid, it, this was a legendary thing. Mm -hmm. that this, this incredible, it was going to be the most complex game ever made, and it never did. <laughs> so, the fact that now there are references to rabbits and going through looking glasses and mm -hmm. stuff like that, in it, a lot of that is, I think, just some kind of psychic coincidence. <laughs> So but that I like your interpretation. Yeah, okay, yeah. thank you so much. Colin is definitely something that's beyond <laughs> yeah. just human. Especially when he jump out of the building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>